Hey, this is Matt Crisqualo coming to you up close and personal. Hey, how you doing? That's me. And I'm going to be doing a, a Requiem por un Fu, which uh, translates to Requiem for a Fool. Question is, what's a Requiem? I don't know. You tell me in the description. Uh, this is Lara Fabian and Johnny Halliday. So let's get right to it, shall we? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't make me come out there looking for you. And by the way, this came uh, requested by Andrea Ballant. She's a, a supporter of the channel, and you can be one, too, if you look in the description below. Don't be so cheap. Come on, throw me a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> anyway, let's get right to this. I thought that was cute. Nice. Here we go. Minor descending chords. Oh. Oh. I love them. So dramatic. Oh, yeah. Hey, Andrea, good, good choice. You know my kind of stuff. Anything that's going to make me uh, feel, uh, you know, um, uh, overwhelmed and, and, and something that's unpredictable, the, the minor chords, the descending, the diminished chords, all the different colors that they're using in there, that's right up my alley because obviously whoever wrote this music knows how to play more than just the white keys on the piano. All right. Je vous préviens, pas que vous soyez flic. Au bateau, je tue celui qui fait un pas. Je ne ferai pas de calot. Oh shit! Éteignez tous ces projecteurs et baissez vos fusils braqués. Non, je ne vais pas m'envoler sans elle. I gotta tell you, when I was in Paris, and I was there quite a few times, um. That sounded like some dude, a taxi driver. I was asking for directions. That's what he sounded like. I said, holy shit. What is that, Requiem for a Fool? Hey, what are the chances of her doing a duet with me? We could do this song here. You know, I could learn it. She's inspired. She's definitely inspired, man. Both of them are inspired. But how could you not be? If you're a musician up on the stage and you're going to be soloing and performing, or even if you're just in the band, in the orchestra, or whatever, uh, the vocal, or the choir, like the way, and you know you're going to be hitting this kind of stuff, <laughs> oh man, you bring it, and you get very inspired. 
I remember being so inspired so many times when I was playing that um, I felt like I was kind of observing myself, like I was floating away from my own body and just observing the music. And it just felt so buoyant. And I it was like, wow, music is a trip, man. I know you're probably thinking, sure, it's a trip because you're smoking. But, it's even, but even without it, it's a trip. Le jour se lève, la nuit pâlit Des chasseurs et des chiens en vain C'est l'heure de sonner la la nuit La fête doit mourir ce matin oh, Je vais ouvrir ton nez volé Refais-moi le cœur, je suis prête Je peux m'endormir pour toujours, pour toujours I got, the, I got the goosies, you know. I got the goosies. You know, I'm a big romantic. I have to admit. I mean, that's what I think of myself anyway. Some people call themselves a romantic, and there's different levels of uh, romantics, right? I mean, there's people that say that they're romantic because they like to, you know, go for a walk on the beach. Yeah, okay, that's romantic. But there's different other things too, right? I'm not going to get into my personal life, but I'm a big mush ball. I like romance. I like uh, to me. That's the whole point of you know being involved with a uh, uh, intimately with a partner that you call your wife, your husband, your partner, whatever. Nowadays, you know whatever floats your boat. But to listen to this and to you know watch how they're singing together and everything, and to see how they're giving to each other and in the performance and sharing of themselves like that, and and just the the the, the whole topic of the song being about love and how intense it is, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, oh man, it's just beautiful. Love is a wonderful thing, ain't it? But it can also bite you right in the hiney too. Am I right or am I wrong? Holy shit! I think this is awesome, man. I love it. I don't, for a second, he thought it looked like he was choking her, and I was like, yeah, man, go, you got to do that. You got to do that. I, you know, I don't want to get into it. I got to tell you, man, I like that. I don't know who the guy is. If you can tell me who the guy is, tell us all who this gentleman is. He did a great job. What a great voice. You know, I love voices like that that have colors and textures in them. I love all voices. You know what I mean? You listen to great singers like Pelagea. It's a little bit, it's it's cleaner. And then you listen to other singers like, you know, Rod Stewart or, uh, uh, or this just gentleman here or Joe Cocker. And you hear some textures and scratchies and this and that. I love it all. But uh, this guy, this guy was great. And I like the way he was putting his head into her, into her, her what would that be called a bosom or, or her, her shoulder? And it, it was just, um, it was touching and I liked it. And actually that 
feels like something I would do, especially with Lara and whoever did this. That was my wife. I just realized that I had this here. No, I didn't realize it. I did it. I did it. I know what I'm doing here. Okay? This is a, like a red badge of uh, of what? It's not a red badge of courage. What is it? A red badge of what? Tell me in the description. Anyway, this was really fun. And uh, Andrea, I got to thank you so much for, rec for re requesting this requiem. It was just wonderful. And I loved it. It was so cool. I love Lara Fabian. If you like Lara Fabian and you haven't seen any of my other reactions, go back and check it out. I have a channel that I made just for her, or a playlist, I should say. A playlist just for her. And, and don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Do all that stuff on this video so that it gets some traction. Otherwise, six people are going to see it. It's never going to go anywhere. And I, don't th I think it should. What do you think? If you think it should, do something about it. Help me out. Help us all out. You know what I'm trying to say. Come on, YouTube. Why does YouTube do that to us? It's, it's just what it is. You know what? It's organic to a certain degree. So that's good. That's good enough for me. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Uh, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And uh, you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. Oh.